What's going on guys? My name is Chris Felling and if you don't know who I am, I like to run. I like to drone. And I like to film. February 2019. Not every month goes as planned and I think that's pretty much the summary of this month. It, it didn't go as planned. Let's get into it. So February, it was an interesting month. Look, I actually got to do a lot of different things that I normally wouldn't get to do in a single month. However, it wasn't my strong month. It was, I was actually sick for a few days, um, probably about 10 days actually, and this meant I wasn't able to get out and do all the runs that I wanted to do. However, the runs that I did get to do, which was a total of 11, they were pretty good. Let's go through them. And I jumped into February with run number one, which was about 5K. Got out, just had some fun. It had been a very hectic week leading up to uh, February, and it was great just to be able to actually get out, finally clear my mind, and just do what I love to do, and that's run. So basically, I did 5K and just did a nice average pace of 5.13. So run number two, like the day before, um, just basically wanted to get out and have some fun, and this was a, another 5K run averaging around 5.13. Run number three. Now this one was a cheeky run. All I wanted to do was get out and make sure I did a run on the Chinese New Year for the Year of the Pig. And I wanted to do this so I could unlock a badge for um, my Garmin watch. And basically that meant I got a little trophy, a little badge of a little pig. Um, so yeah, just a cheeky little run just to get out and get that. So this was about 2K and I actually smashed this one out, averaging a 4.49 pace. So mm. look at that. Run number four, this was actually another golden hour run, so getting out after work uh, through the week, and it was nice to finally actually just get home from work and actually get out and enjoy the golden hour and the, and the sunset. This was about 4K. Um, I had the mindset of thinking about how I'm going to be training for the run for kids coming up on April 7th, and in doing so, I actually managed to do a nice pace of 4.58. Look, I'm gonna be honest here, run number five, it was, it was a great run, it was awesome run, but when it came to the mental capacity of trying to think about new content and get those creative juices flowing, it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge for the last, actually all of February, um, but it was still nice to get out and I think we all go through these stages where you know you hit a wall and things don't really make sense or you don't know what you're doing, but you, you just gotta keep pushing forward. Um, <sighs> all right, 5K done and dusted and look, the run was great, but yeah. In this case, I did another 5K averaging 5.09. Run number six. So this was this was a quick turnaround from the day before. So took a road trip with Carla. We went down to the Yu Yangs, which is a great little spot to do some um, awesome trails. We were planning to do 12K. We actually took a wrong turn, ended up doing around 8K, but it was a magnificent run, really, really good. And did an average pace. Oh, there's a moth. And did an average pace of around 7.20. So this was an absolutely stunner of a run. Run number seven was a Running Heroes and a Yo Pro collaboration run. Basically, we got out, ran with Running Heroes, um, you know, our bright orange shirts, and just actually finished the run eating some yogurt. Um, and it's a great way to just, you know, meet some new people, have some fun, and obviously enjoy some, some nice goodies there at the end. So this was just a nice 5K, averaging at 5.31. Run number eight. Now this was an awesome run. Actually, it was quite surprising as well. I got out, took my new running glasses for a run, which is the Gooder glasses. If you haven't checked out this video, make sure you do. Really do recommend them. But I was basically testing out the glasses from a Valentine's gift from Carla, and I managed to get a new PB. So, very surprised with that. Was not expecting it, but it's always nice to get a surprise PB. Get out of town, fastest mile. And fastest 1K. That's unbelievable. There we go. 516 averaging 458. Now the point I want to make here is I've been doing some pretty good speed work for a good couple of months now. Actually all since since uh, October, November. You, you go back have a look. You can see that I've been smashing out this, the faster paces. Now with this in mind, as I've progressively, progressively been doing this, I've been able to hold the pace for longer. And this is starting to show very clearly as this year I've gotten fast, fastest mile three or four times now. And I just got another fastest 1K. So, something's going on. Run number nine. This was a beautiful trail run down at uh, the two base trail run again. And 
Basically, we did 10K, 5K for Treadmill TV. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you do. I did do a video of behind the scenes of, you know, what we did for that run, but it was great just to get out, get a bit of different scenery. Um, as I'd mentioned, February was a bit of a tough month for me, so to be able to get out and enjoy those trails, get the fresh air, do something different, always great. So this was 10K, averaging 722. That's because of all the hills. Run number 10, this was another Running Heroes collaboration, but this guy it was with the Iconic Sports Challenge. And basically, once again, we get out, we do a 5K, um, just running with some new friends, some new people, and basically we just do it to have some fun. And it's just, the idea is you do it before you go to work. Um, so it was in the city, Albert Park in Melbourne, and so it was great just to get out and you know meet some different people. But once again, doing 5K, averaging 5.33. So not too bad. Oh yeah, and then the same day, straight after this run, I did a cool down run, which was basically 1.7K or 1.8K, um, once again averaging 555, but this was just a cool down run after doing the Iconic Sports Challenge, um, basically running back so I could get ready for work in time. That's February. It, I'm thinking it wasn't really a good month, but now that I talk about it and share it with you, looking back, there were some really good iconic runs in there. I went to a few different places, managed to get a PB. Um, it actually wasn't too bad, but I think from the mental side, I'd just been drained. It'd been a tough month, um, and you know, working through those things sometimes to try and have that mental capacity to think about new content or how you want to do this or do that, it doesn't usually come out that easy when you've got so much going on, but being able to get out and run and just enjoy it, that was definitely the benefit and the highlight for February. So February was 11 runs and I did about a total of 56 kilometers with a nice average of 5.55, so pretty consistent pace as well. Um, but you know, looking back, it wasn't what I expected. I was sick there for a good couple of days. Actually, I think it was a total of 10 days that I was sick. And it, it's it's these very moments that you need to think about, well, that's what it's all about. You've got to go through these tough times, you know, to push through, to make yourself stronger for the, for the longer run. And in this case, this is going to be the very much the, the main theme of this year. And it's what I've got to plan and work towards for doing my first marathon at the end of this year. So... Really, it's just preparing me for the mental and the physical. That's it from me. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang, and hustle.